Show is quiet in here. <laughs> Look like you got a, mind, a lot on your mind, brother. I'm rapping about chips. Okay, Ruffles, Doritos, <laughs> Fritos, Cheetos. Everybody really don't need those. Don't eat those. Hey. Mars. Hey, man, I'm so glad to be on live again. Shout out to my brother, Trent Breeland. Hey man. Well, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's about that time again. This is now we had the lunchtime special, but this the evening special. Dinner. Hey man, I'll no, see yeah, this this kinda like how you, if you put dinner and dessert together, what would you get? The dinner. <laughs> Amen. So God bless all those who are tuned in with us. You are now tuned in uh, once again live with us to the Seed Talk. And I'm, as you all know, Minister Ali, and I'm with my big brother, Dwayne Heiler. Amen. Oh, uh, see, you messed it up. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so we got to see is taking scripture out of its original context wow. and creating uh, your own context and putting that scripture into that context and making um, it mean that. Yes, and and to piggyback off what you said earlier about the carnality of this uh, teaching, it's it's very it's very um, un un ungodly, so to say. Um, and to you know uh, pick up where you talked about, you know how people of the carnal nature who live according to the flesh flock to these things because if you look at it. It's a big movement. It's a worldwide movement. And, and, and these things basically uh, teach us that if I speak well, this happens. It's going to happen. And if I speak uh, health, health is going to happen. If I speak uh, wealth or rich, riches and, and stuff like that is going to happen. And all that stuff deals with the carnality because at the end of the day, God is only concerned with our souls. Right. He's concerned with our souls, our souls' well-being, living in this, 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 this fleshly body that's against God. And, you know, a lot of times people... People, we we because because we we want the things of the world, or we we need, or we have a tendency to desire the things of the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? We 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 want it to the point where we we're, we're willing to do anything to get it. Right. So now there's a movement that's going to substitute my patience ooh, of getting ooh. those things. No, be quiet. Be quiet, be quiet <laughs> now be quiet. it's going. Now I can <laughs> gravitate towards that because now okay, oh, there's a medium by to it instead of you know it's like okay. You ain't gonna catch the bus if you got a car. Right. <laughs> you yeah. gonna get to where you going now. Bishop, Bishop uh -huh. do you remember where that scripture is where it says that um that God that God gave them teachers according to what their desire was. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And another scripture it says uh that the people had itchy ears. Yes. Um, keeping up to themselves teachers. teachers. That's right. Themselves. That's right. So what you just said was that the people are stuck in carnality, which wow. is something that it, it hurts me because I see us as believers do that often. Like we're not focused on spiritual health and eternal health that's going to come in the kingdom of, uh, in the new Jerusalem. Yes. We're not focused on spiritual wealth and the eternal wealth that's going to come in the new Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're so focused on the natural thing, which is still incomplete. And will never be whole, and it's still gonna fail and be destroyed. That's right. Right. So now you have these people that are so stuck on health and wealth and mm -hmm. carnal mm -hmm. life. So what's happening? God has given them teachers that is wow. teaching what they desire to be taught. 